For this problem, we're asked to write a method named intersect that accepts references to two sorted array lists of integers as parameters and return a new list that contains only the elements found in both lists. We need to solve, we need to pass eight tests. The code that we, or the integers that we have added into list one here and the integers we've added into list two here is a general solution and these commented out sections are also um, another solution to look at. So dealing with all of these first, the ones that are given in this example, we can write this code. So first we're going to make a public static method. It's going to return an array list of type integer and it's called intersect. Its parameters are two array lists and we need to create a third array list to store the same elements in. We have two scenarios. Actually, we have we have three scenarios. So our first scenario is if list two has the biggest size, we need to account for that. Our second scenario is if list one has a bigger size. And our third scenario is if the sizes are equal. So first we're gonna look at if list two has the biggest size. So we're gonna compare these. We're gonna assume that list two has the bigger size. Then we are gonna go into this for loop. And this for loop is gonna run through the entire size of list dot two, which is gonna be all of these elements. It's gonna run through all of them. And for each element, so when i equals zero, it's going to store the zeroth element in temp. So for here, this would be four, since i is the zeroth index on list two. And then if list dot contains temp, so basically we are asking if list one contains the temporary value, which is four. So if list contains four, or if list one contains the zeroth index of list two, which is four, that means that they both have the same element. So we're gonna add that into our third list. If list one has the biggest size, it's gonna do the same thing. So you can see basically the only thing that's different is the operator here. And we also account for if the sizes are equal. For this or method, it could be in either one of these if statements, doesn't really matter. We just need to make sure that we go through the one that has the biggest elements and not the smallest one because if it's assigned to the smallest one, then you will get an index out of bounds because it's going to try to keep running for variables that are not there or it will not check all of the indexes here. Not all values will be compared. And then after that, you're just gonna return the third list. So when you run it, it looks like this, and you can see that these are all the repeated values. If you comment these out, and we just have this line and this line in, one, two, three, and four are gonna be in list one, and five, six, and seven are gonna be in list two. So that means list one is bigger, and it is going to go into this if statement. It's going to compare everything. It sees that nothing is equivalent. So it is just going to return brackets.